Today, we play Best of One. The only one in Best of One. Not Virginia Taxes. Ta-da. You Orion. This is standard. Every day, people ask me, CGB, how does a control deck in this meta deal with the mill combo decks and the mono red decks and the Boros combo decks all at the same time? And I say, no questions, except today. Today, I'm going to answer the question. It's my secret technology. It's, can you see the card that I don't always show people can you see the card that hasn't been in any other build of the deck have you spotted it yet there it is kutzil's flanker two and a white for a three one flash when it enters the battlefield choose one put a counter on it for each creature that left the battlefield under your control this turn gain two life and scry two or target players graveyard gets exiled why is this such a key card well, getting some board presence, blocking and scrying your way to your board wipe or your card draw or whatever you need the most is important against the aggro deck. So it's far from a dead card. It's also very good at sneaking in and sniping down planeswalkers like Liliana of the Veil and things like that. But the real jam is the graveyard. When you use this against the opponent using Aftermath, Analysis and World Souls Rage to wipe out all of their little fetch lands, often in response to the activation of their... Ah, gosh, name of the card, something, you know, the one that brings all the lands back. Aftermath Analyst. When you use this in response to the Aftermath Analyst activation to exile their entire graveyard, they sometimes just scoop. It's kind of embarrassing. On top of that, you completely clown the Reenact the Crime Graveyard deck. You already had an okay matchup. No More Lies is a good card against them. But the flanker just is icing on the cake. Now they don't win. They just can't win. So using the flanker to either find the board wipes we need and stay alive or to totally nerf the opponent when they go for some kind of an off the wall graveyard strategy is my secret tech in blue white control. The other thing that's the secret tech more Iganja, Seat of the Empire. I actually went up to 28 land because you can never miss a land drop, and two of them are the extra Iganjos that can also function as removal, so that's very nice. No More Lies, very good. March of Otherworldly Light, Jace, Wandering Emperor, Memory Deluge. You've seen all these before. Temporary Lockdown, the best of one sweeper of choice, with some backup from Sunfall and Farewell because sometimes you need it. This is the deck that has kept me in the numbers in Mythic whenever I just take too much time off ladder and I want to see myself with a nice number instead of a percentage next to my name. This is what I turn to and it hasn't disappointed. So let's show it to you today. Let's dive in and let the thank yous to the sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com and Ultimate Guard. Use the links in the description. Please support the sponsors of this channel. Now, let the nonsense begin. Ah, hanging in top 1500, and let's see if we can close this video in top 1000. On the draw, we'll keep a lockdown. A little slow, but lockdown can fix a lot of things if we're lucky. Oh yes! Right away, they're doing the fetch landy thing. Oh no, Aftermath Analyst, what will I do? I'm in so much danger, actually. Pretty good draw. I guess we could see if they play Anissa. They're not going to activate it this turn. We can wait. If they play Anissa, we'd rather hit the Nif Nissa because Lockdown takes care of this. Nah. Actually, no, let's see. We might want to lock them down if they play another one. They do not play another one. Out of there. Yield of Ruin. Another one. Uh, 
Uh-huh. Do we exile the graveyard now? Absolutely not. They don't have any blue yet. They're getting desperate. Ooh. <clears throat> Do we set up the blowout? I think we just keep them off balance. We're doing fine. They're an untapped land away from playing Celestis and having Flanker. But they get to do this, like, pass back to you, pass back to me game if we let them. Let's see if I get blown out, though, by a World Souls Rage here for three. I think it was... I think what we did was worth a shot, though. No! <sighs> Double Analyst and World Souls Rage. It happens. The question now is when do we flank? If I hadn't drawn this, what would have happened? We'll do it now. Reload. No land. Yeah, get the Splendid Reclamation. <laughs> All right, they get a draw two. They have another Memory Deluge. Must be nice. Yeah, their hand's been really cracked. And if we can't even hit land drops, I don't know how we're going to succeed in this game. That is a good start. We actually want them to play Memory Deluge. We don't want them to cast the Virtue. That's the thing we can't currently answer. Okay, darn. Whiff. Keep it coming. So this is also the part of the game where we're getting to where maybe Jace could help us take it home. They only have 25 cards left. If they have another World Souls Rage, we're going to lose. We know about... Oh! Oh! Sorry, get, sorry, sorry, Wandering Emperor. We had to, we had to, and we did. All right, hang in there. We've got to get them down to 15 cards and draw Jace. There's still so much gas in their deck, actually. We can kill the kitties if they discard something of an appropriate size. Ah, they killed their own stuff. Not the worst. They, those weren't going to be attacking any anytime soon anyway. All right, 19 cards. Come on. Okay. There's no chance Wandering Emperor is going to determine this game. Okay, we got lies. If they want to go face or they get greedy so you're telling me there's a chance 17 cards a deluge Jace Island Hi. I'll take note of all your failures. Bang. The knowledge we acquire. Time grows short. All your hopes. I definitely turned on their graveyard, but they can't flash back memory deluge. And I think we got the virtues. I don't see another Kellen. So one card in hand might be Kellen? 
They go for iteration. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven plus seven is 14. Okay. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. And they scoop. See? That's like as good as it can go for them and we still won. Next up, top 500 player Richie. And is good. Well, I mean, we're on the draw. We'll keep it. Hopefully we get to see this lockdown. This might be teamer vibes. We got the is it sleeve and the Nissa. <laughs> pirates? Don't think we can beat pirates. It'll take some luck. We could march this. No, we gotta get these tapped lands down. Okay, untapped land is awesome. Brotherhood's end? Been that. Oh, please keep it, I mean. <laughs> you know me too well. Okay, it's gonna be one of those artifact decks. Yikes. The thing we're afraid of is that we go for lockdown and they counter it, right? Fourteen. They pass here, we're gonna march. I can't rely on the lockdown to resolve, but if we reduce the clock by taking out the siren, then they'll probably have to do something else, which plays into our hands. We want them acting on their main phase. That is a six drop. <laughs> Yikers. As a tapped land. No. Must do better. Fall to 13. Seed Shark. No. Deluge. Uh, let's lock them down. I know it's not much, but it's stuff. Stuff they want to put glyphs on, right? Shark 2.0. And they have something for one red. Actually, I think I take this and make sure we hit land. I think falling behind on land is a disaster. I was going to just kill the shark, but oh no. Only one land there. Okay, unfortunately it is a play with fire. Scary. How much burn can they do? If they glyph this, it's six, seven, eight. Ugh. And then we farewell them. Can't name enchantment though, or they get back the epicur. Okay, no glyph. Two red open. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, uh, his stuff is about to get burned. Ooh, Sunfall. Well, it's the farewell, right? Because we can also get rid of this incubator token. So all creatures, all artifacts. You might say that's where the two Aganjos bites me, but the truth is that the Aganjo, if it, it the second Aganjo wouldn't be an Aganjo. It wouldn't be a different land. It would have been a knockout blow. That's what it replaced. So we wouldn't have been able to cast a farewell at all without it. Just defending, just defending that awkward Aganjo moment for a second. You'll, you'll notice there's 28 lands in the deck. It's because we added two more Aganjos and took out some knockout blow and Elspeth smite stuff. Nope, oh, starting to get away from them now. There's a flanker. Uh, 
Let's see if they have something for a wandering emperor. Anyone who harms my must Traegers. must protect the people. Anchorage. Let's get the pluses cooking. The damage begins. The slow march to victory. Seems like we've taken a lot of the legs out of their deck. And here comes a gleeful demolition. In response, a little bit of this. Just keep hitting land and we'll be fine. We have the tools we need to win. We just have to be able to deploy our hand. Okay, Tezzeret. I am more than human. You Tezzeret digs. Innovation has no limit. I mean, the only removal we've seen, we see Lightning Strike Play With Fire Brotherhood's End. In best of one, you can cut a lot of a lot of removal that's not burn. So we'll go ahead and put the counter here. Hezret off the board, please. We'll show some respect. Your victory doesn't change my future. I think we're gonna be wrapping it up any second now. Good time as any for a flank. I mean, I think March will be great against them, so I'll keep keeping Marches. Show them how we greet them. We're on eight, now we're on nine. Let's bring it. Maybe we can finish them here. Blue white beat down takes over. That's why we found some lands earlier for moments like that. The pain is top 600 mythic. We're trying to break. We just broke top 1200. We on the way up. Who knows? We might draw three coasts in a row. Shuffler's at least that fine. This is mono red. Oh, it's not, though. Trixie. False. Resolve. I guess I'll counter that because it saves us a lot of damage. And I don't plan to have mana up for a while after this. Keeping life total high is what's important. Another creature, oh no! I'll land off the crescendo. We chill. Please, use more pump spells. Or Sokin's on, that works. Nom nom nom, Swifty. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, Swifty, not today. Let's take out these springs. I don't think they have more black. So the black in this is for that uh, flinging critter for the most part. I don't think they need it, but it's one less resource they get to have. Draw your fifth land scoop. Classic aggro. Easy. Pared down. Somebody in 97%. We must win. We're on the play. This hand is good. Can lock down on time. Might wandering emperor on time. This is mono red. Deeply mono red. Let's just open the way. Would you like to play all your one drops? Just that one. Okay.
Get him. Nice? I don't know, man. Oh my god, it's Bloodthirsty Adversary with a monstrous rage. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? If we can get him in a spot where we can cast these No More Lies, we'll be okay. All in the timing. That is a liable situation. Um... We'll take three. I think we do it. I think we get these out of our hand. I think there's a huge risk to holding them. That they'll just end up in our hand later and we take too much damage. Yeah, we get to use both of them here. That's awesome. I don't like scoundrels. Charming or otherwise. Godric. Nothing. Slice and dice. My judgment is fine. Our opponent has feelings. Forgive me if I don't care. <laughs> The chick. They just drew that. They didn't have it last turn. So this could be a lightning strike. But they go for the foundry. There. Nah, here comes the scoop. <laughs> Alrighty. Die. Lock. You are not much of a roadblock. Well, we will defend her. Strike fast and strike hard. We have Anchorage into a Ganjo. Could still be a lightning strike, though. They have this one card they've been holding. They just top decked this Swifty. Is this the strike? Or the frenzy, maybe? Sure is. I mean, they're very proud of themselves. I'll well, get wrecked. Always glad to meet my match. Well, we could see what they top deck. No, nah, let's let's hold up. We've got another anchorage, even if they take out this one. Keep them attacking the Wandering Emperor. Nice and easy. Hashtag fearless. What? I mean, you know, they've got something. You didn't come here to not try. Another frenzy. A lightning strike. Yep. Well, we didn't want that hitting our face. Let's keep going up. We've got another Anchorage to put in front. How many times in a row can they top deck something to deal with it? And your breaking point? That's your breaking point. Beautiful. We're at seven. If they play something and attack with it, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, samurai. May your blade strike true. We chill. We don't have to beat him down. We can just wait. Honored doesn't have the patience to win. Canarius, top 800 mythic. We have a lockdown hand. We are on the draw. Let's hope that we are alive when the lockdown happens. Oh, look, new deck. Never, never seen this before. Really looking for a two mana play. Is 
Are they gonna just start chucking their hand for plus one plus one counters? They are. <laughs> it's so bad. Don't do that. I mean, I guess they wanted the frenzy off the top of their deck. I guess. Now, the important thing, do they have a three drop? Let's hope that the NT tricks them into more one drops. Here we go. They throw another frenzy. And another counter. They get a squee they can't cast. Ah, oh, that feels nice. Shove them into lockdown. Uh-huh. That is a Magic the Gathering card you can play. And they're holding something. Must be a land. So it must be a Sokinzon or they're going to discard it next turn to the Inti. Yeah, that's their plan. So we could play the Jace and start plussing, but they will get value. And I'm not giving them no value. Get a chance to get the Archive out of the way. Bin the field. There's the land they held. They probably drew another one. So one of the tricks against Mono Red when you get a chance, play the Jace and just start plussing. No minuses. Unless maybe you need it to hit a land drop or something, just plus. Somebody overcorrected for Boros. Good to see overcorrections like that get a little punished. Meow. And here, even in a matchup where the flanker isn't at its best, a little bit of life and a little bit of scry goes a long way. In fact, it's so terrifying, the opponent's gonna scoop to it. Gvaladivia. 97% pared down, must win. Uh, yeah, perfect hand. <laughs> What's wrong with this? We get Jace on Jace. You're not mono red, are you? Yep. Mono red with extra steps. Okay, we're in trouble. That's good. It's a really good top deck. Please. Pump it up. Oh no. Nope, they don't take action. Well, we're still doing this. Mm-hmm. This one I might do. Because I have a follow-up, right? No, 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 no. We, our follow-up play might be power-up Anchorage. We still want a plus. Hmm. Okay. Keep it going. Become subdued. They scry in. If they keep on top, maybe I use this field of ruin. Two to the top. Yeah. I might lose the Jace over it, but I have another one. It's risky to power up the Anchorage, and I'm kind of trying to figure out what I'm up against here. Might be a Braids deck. And we see the basic Swamp, so they're more black and red than the typical, like, just using the black for the fling card. And they're not doing anything. That must be a removal spell or two. Okay. Well, we're really close to a draw three. So if we like minus out the Jace next turn, mill full power, then play this Jace. Could be a draw three. A morph. Uh-huh. 
Well, let's wander. Run away. You'll be it's not even a morph, it's disguise. That ward is so annoying. I think they'll remove one creature, so I think we want two. But let's attack and see if we get a response from them. If they flip that card, the disguise is off. May your blade strike true. I'm gonna keep plusing. Not paying a two though. There's a vents. Done. March. Show them how we greet our enemies. What you got? I don't think I want to fill their graveyard. I think that there's a good chance that this is one of the morphs that uses that ability, but there's a lot we don't know going on here. 46 cards. I'm, I'm sticking to the mono red philosophy. Keep plussing the Jace. Eventually you just like do the thing and you hit them for their whole deck. That's a swift spear. Is it combat time? Base? What is happening? Bone Brute? Bone Brute? When it dies, each opponent loses three life, huh? If I do that, I can't a Ganjo. See what happens. Fire at will. One bone brute down. What has Ash Lizzle done lately? That's what that's what we're finding out today. Five four. We kill both of them. They'll kill it. Fine with me. Rather keep the march for something unexpected, or just the creature land. Oh. You're late. Forty-five, huh? Almost there. Our plans are beyond your comprehension. Uh-huh. Actually, do we we want them to draw, right? They're very close here. We want them to discard draw. March! And that was enough. Top 1000. Easy. Not even an L. All right. Paired down against 98%. We cannot lose. We will lose our position, our precious position. I love that every hand is like no more lies and locked down in the mana to cast them. Thank you, internet. Although, farewell in the opener, sus. Ooh, we get this matchup. I'm going to lock that down. So this is another matchup. Uh, the combo deck, Demir combo, where the flanker is insane. Go for Jace. Oh, they got something. Wait, they run counter spells in that deck. Okay. Interesting. That's fine. I can stare. 
We're gonna try to set up the temporary lockdown, the, the blast zone to hit the lockdown. That's fine. Scryland. You would think in a reenact the crime deck that this would be a problem. Maybe they're not reenact the crime. Maybe I know nothing. Power up. Tide binder. Sure. It's a land, so this ability comes back. It's not like we lose a lot to the tide binder mage here. And now if they pop their blast zone, they kill their tide binder mage. This might not be what I expected at all. I don't see reenact the crime signs other than the collector's vault. Chill. We chill. We have lots of ways to deal with little critters. Let's explore. Try to dig up a really good deck. Hey, Jace. Sure. They didn't like the first one. That has to be a good sign. No. <laughs> no, you do not. Yes. Their weak will folded to the power of no more lies. Only truth can set you free. 95%. Oh no, the stakes get higher. They'll be straight out of top 1000 if I lose this. Hopefully we find a two drop with the archive. No! Well, one flanker in my lands against the world. Beautiful. Beautiful. If it's green black, they'll have creatures. Sunfall will be good at some point. See? I think the graveyard might be good too. Bam. They are up cards and we need memory deluge. Will we find it? They're holding up mana. Let's hit our tap land. Hold the flanker. The scries could get us somewhere good, but they're, we're just playing into their removal and they don't have anything else to do. This is fine. Play the lands they know about, keep them guessing. Don't be in a rush to slam the flanker. There will be some other use for it. If we just run it out there for a scry two, they're just going to kill it. And they even have the mana available. Wait till they at least tap out or something so that they have to use the mana on their own turn. Okay, Murex. Does Murex change the play? It does. Now we want to make them use their mana so they don't start Murexing us. And we want Memory Deluge. Might keep Jace, but we definitely want Memory Deluge. Might also keep a Field of Ruin. No and no. <laughs> They're thinking about it. Oh, come on. All three? Special. All right. Well, we have nothing going on with our mana whatsoever, so I guess this is the play. They're probably going to kill the Anchorage. Then they didn't kill the Flanker. Yeah, they saved a virtue for it. That's why they didn't use the go for the throat. It's a, it's a good call. Any creatures in graveyards? No. Well, uh, wait. There is one. I'm not used to that being there. I expect this to die as well. We have to try. 
At least this way they don't get to Murex. Oh, okay. Well, that'll help. We get to get archives and try to put non-lands on top of our deck. Memory deluge, memory deluge, memory deluge. Easy. Barely an inconvenience. Now we need to find farewell. Okay, that's pretty good. Someone gets a card. And if we don't use the sunfall, a disaster will lurk. Oh no, the bat! Okay. Game on. Yeah? If it clears the bat, we keep it. They know about both the ganjos, so what are they going to do? Interesting. Are they going to discard their hand to, like, exile my temporary lockdown here? No. All right, Sunfall in hand. Another poison acquired. They might go for this virtue. Yep. So. I will draw the lockdown. I was thinking about deluging instead. And we don't want to expose this in the graveyard because they'll get the flanker and exile it. So we pass. But they'll probably get the bat. And we want to have two ways to cover the bat. Told you. Oh my. Let's see what they take. <laughs> Lockdown's cheapest. Makes sense. Let's see if they have another Gix. Poison. Pass. The right play here is to let them have Gix, draw some cards, then Sunfall it, and use the Deluge in our graveyard. I'm confident. Card drawing gets them in Jace range. And double Jace is certainly on the menu. We do have to watch the poison. And hopefully they don't get a way to take the Sunfall, but if they do, hopefully we find Farewell with Memory Deluge. That's our other huge play here. Cottage. Good card. They could try to Gix my library, but... Honestly? Like, what are they gonna do? Hit a board wipe and cast it? Like, the cards aren't good for them. They use the Takanuma in response? And they go to 35 cards. We have enough to double Jace them. But we don't hit. We do need the field. The Odawara can hit the Virtue. No, let him have it. Uh, how many fields do we need? Maybe we need both fields. Because is lockdown really that good? We're getting another one. Yeah, let's take both fields. And we're working our way to double Jace land. There's a march. Sunfall. This field has to, I think, protect against cottage nonsense. I want to cut down to get the bat back. Sure. I mean, it's just going to take lockdown again.
enjoy. Let's see what they take. And it was the lockdown. Thirty four cards. Sure. I want to exile from my graveyard. That works. Let them tap first. This also thins their deck. They're at 34. There's two Jaces. We're trying to find them. All right, go for the throat doesn't work. Cut down doesn't work. I think there's a chance this actually catches this might. And yeah, virtue doesn't work either. Means they want to do something about it. Glissa. Second virtue. Lockdown. Sentinel, Wanker. I think this is a deluge turn. I'm not sure what else it is. I think we'll wait and find out. Here come the maps. 32 cards. The bat is getting strong now. 31 cards. But the Glissa, that's range. That's double Jace time. Another Gix. Okay. What Exile's Graveyard? I think we still want to hold that for end step. Do we take this bump? Do we take this bump? Let's do this. Let's reduce the bump a bit. Too much bump. There's the go for the throat. They want that in the graveyard so they can get it with the virtue. They still think they're going to grind me out. Thirty cards. Come on, Jace. Where are you at, yo? Also take a farewell. That would send them to the Stone Age. Nissa. Good card. Do we want to go for a No More Lies or do we want to use the Field of Ruin on the Murex? Let's see if we find No More Lies. Not a Jace. Oh God. Uh, all right, take Flanker. Second lockdown. Give me a Wandering Emperor. Get lost, indeed. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Yep, that's fine. We're not going to flank that. We're going to Wandering Emperor this turn, I think. Get rid of the Gix. Or try to. It's a good card. Been a Jace away from victory for a while, but we're not finding it, are we? Opponent continuing with the routine of going for their own throat. Eleven health. This is very dangerous. Lockdown doesn't cover any of this. It might all fall apart. Okay. They tear asunder for the bat. They should take the Jace because they just lose if I draw another. 
But they might take Lockdown because that's been their pattern. I mean, Lockdown really didn't do anything to that board. Do we go for the Scries? If we do that, do we have enough for the Double Jace win? No, we do not. Okay, those should help keep us alive. They've used up their go for the throats. What are they getting back? Gix? Gix. Okay. Could go for my flanker. Is one flanker enough to keep me alive? It's a good question. <sighs> Probably not. I'm probably going to lose my memory deluge. I think we just have to roll with that. There's not going to be an opportunity to cast it. Emotions are distractions. Drink. On the facts. Plus, so they have to go for the Wandering Emperor. And we're going to try to scry our way to a Jace. We're going to give them a lot of targets. Next Romana won't do anything. I'm confident I still have a basic, so we're cool. Two Jaces and a Farewell would all be epic. Four copies of No More Lies lurking. I really don't want to draw those now. Hate to jinx myself. A target Gix. Okay. Good. Good. I didn't want them targeting the flanker. Leaving the deluge could really matter because we could potentially deluge into another Jace and an untapped land. Uh huh. They hit a demo field. This is so huge. A demo field could make me shuffle, but I can decline a demo field. I can't decline a field of ruin. They're going to go for my deck. Excel the top X. You may play lands and cast spells from without paying their mana cost. It'd be an interesting time to scry, wouldn't it? I mean, I plan to scry with at least one of these anyway. <laughs> okay. Feels really bad. They got a march. They got a march. But they can't do it, right? They can't pay because they have to cast it without paying its mana cost. Won't do them any good. They do not know about the other flanker. Mm, they see Planeswalker. They want kill Planeswalker. Maybe. They have 14 cards in their graveyard. We don't have to get too many into their graveyard for the Jace to work. What have they done? What have they done? They're all going after Wandering Emperor? Okay. <laughs> um, this is interesting. This is so very, very interesting. Fill my graveyard. Exile their graveyard. That's the plan. I do get a card. 25. Come on, don't make it good. Don't make it good. Okay. And a land. They're at 24. Exile. Is what you get 14. Yep. This is seven. I think I'm okay. Organic minds are Risky. 
I promise you it's risky. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> Get them out of there. <laughs> they can't fall into enemy hands. They're too powerful. <laughs> Far too powerful. So this is 21 cards, right? So if I can keep this loyalty, if the opponent goes face and they draw two, this could be game with one Jace. They do it again? They got a memory deluge. If they cast that for free, it goes to my graveyard, but they don't get any cards. Hey, I can't top Jace. You clearly can't top Jace. You should give up. They get no cards from this, right? They spent no mana casting it. I guess surveil land. Okay, thank you. I needed that. They got rid of a frill back to do that. The, the Jace is threatening to end the game. If they draw two cards with their Gix here. Like that would be GG. So they got to go after it, right? Opponent? Have you lost your damn mind? Twenty-two. Don't use them. No, don't don't map. No, don't do that. What if it's a land? Oh, 21. into the heart of Golgari. Top 900. Wonderful. Today's random Cool Kids Club member shout out goes to Vishchar8 Vishkar. Thank you very much for being a member of the Cool Kids Club. I hope that you're enjoying access to these videos a day early. Hopefully you grabbed this deck, went out on ladder and stomped it a day before everybody else got the technology. And how did we do today? What are the actual stats? CGB, are you only showing us wins? <laughs> As if, imagine. Imagine if I actually every day just played a deck that I'm good at playing instead of trying to figure out how to make dragons work. Imagine if my whole brain got applied to this. What would happen? This would happen. Edo, today was easy. Barely an inconvenience to slap this meta around. 3-0 against Mono Red. I'll take that. I'll take that. No Boros today. That's too bad. I would love to destroy them to slay them where they stand. Anyway, this deck is good. And blue-white, if you're gonna do blue-white, you have to adapt to the meta. You have to pick up cards that don't always make sense, especially in a best of three setting. And you have to take them out and see how they behave in best of one. The flanker is one such card, often forgotten cat warrior, but the card is absolutely housing all kinds of decks in this current meta. So I strongly approve. This deck is sweet. I hope that you control mages will try it. Thank you for staying all the way till the end of the video. That's the best thing you can do for the channel. But you could also hit like, and you could also hit subscribe because we actually have a pretty good shot at three to four months if ish hitting 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. So if you want to help on the march to 200,000, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button today. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I will see you in the next one. You're cool. Get ready for March Foil Madness when you order from CoolStuffInc.com. During the month of March, each Magic the Gathering order will receive a free foil, with some lucky customers receiving a foil rare or one of these special promos. Get your orders in now at CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff in stock.